Gem or CDs part 21. Hi, hi, everybody, and welcome to part 21 of a look at my general CD collection. So that's normal CDs, no box sets, no Prince-related CDs, no signed CDs, no compilations, no soundtracks. Uh, we're working our way through the fifth set of those black CD racks. Let's just carry on. Uh, showed some Gomez in my last part. This is Five Men in a Hut, A's, B's and Rarities, 1998-2004. So this is a two-disc compilation of singles, B-sides, rarities, as it says. A couple of new tracks on here. Nice compilation. Uh, this is In Time, a Best of R.E.M. 1988 to 2003. So this is their... Is it 1988? Yeah. Um, their Warner Brothers years. So this has got all the big hits. Man on the Moon, Great Beyond, What's Frequency Kenny, Losing My Religion, Orange Crush, Imitation of Life, Day Sleeper, Sidewinder Sleeps Tonight, Stand, Everybody Hurts, Night Swimming. Doesn't have shiny happy people because REM don't like shiny happy people. But yeah, uh, for a long time I only had the two Greatest Hits compilations, but I have recently picked up most of their albums in charity shops. Uh... You probably know by now if you've been watching my videos, I'm a big fan of Robbie Williams. I know he's not to everybody's taste, but I love him. Uh, this is quite interesting. This is The Ego Has Landed. This was a compilation of his first two UK albums released for the US and Canada, I think, uh, market. So this is an import from the US. It is literally it's nothing unique on here. It is just an interesting mixture of songs for most of our albums. Uh, interestingly, does contain the song Jesus in a Camper Van, which was on uh, I've Been Expecting You, his second album, but I have briefly been over this on a previous video, but it was a, it was a reworking, shall we say, of a song by Loudon Wainwright III, I believe. And he was credited. However, it turned out that Loud and Wainwright referred had ripped it off from another song himself. So that whoever wrote that one won a court battle and had it taken off of I've Been Expecting You. I don't know whether this was affected on later pressings or whether it had any later pressings. This is Robbie's third album, Sing When You're Winning. Uh, I have two versions of this. This is the normal version. Actually, I have three versions of this. Uh, it also came in a digi back book type release which I've already shown because it was in with the box sets because it's too big for the shelves and then I've also got the 20th anniversary re-release with a bonus DVD which I think I've already shown uh, one of his between this and Escapology as to which is my favourite Robbie album uh, Rotom Mandalay Rock DJ no not Rock DJ Brain's Gone Dead uh, Let Love Be Your Energy was a single. Yeah, it was Rock DJ, Supreme, Kids. And yeah, Road to Mandalay were all singles. And most of them were number ones. This was his first swing album, Swing When You're Winning. This was the big one that was all over the place. Excellent album. So yeah, this is Escapology, his fourth solo album. As I say, Between This and Sing When You're Winning, which is my favourite. Um, Feel was the lead single and big hit. Something Beautiful was a single. Uh, Come Undone was a big single. I think Sexed Up was a single as well. Yeah, love that album. Uh, so all of the, mm, apart from the Swing album, because the 20th anniversary release of that, the DVD on that was just a DVD of the Albert Hall show, which I already had, so I didn't bother getting that. But all the others that were released in that collection, I've got the 20th anniversary re-release of. 
Um, have a drink, Martin. <clears throat> this is an EP by Molotov Jukebox. I've uh, shown a couple of their, al or their two proper albums in with the signed CDs. They are a band fronted by Natalia Tenner, the actress who was Tonks in Harry Potter and Usher in Game of Thrones and is in The Mandalorian, but I'm not sure what her character name is. And there's lots of other bits as well, and who I'm a big fan of. She's one of my favourite people on the planet. Uh, this is an EP containing Soldier's Lament, Double Dare, Sex Foot, Later Rest and I Need It. Five excellent songs. Um, yeah. Highly recommend Molotov Jukebox. Especially live. Uh, this is Paul McCartney live in Los Angeles for the Amoeba show. This is the version that was given away with the Daily Mail. Uh, so this is a 12 track version. This is last year got a proper issue for the first time on vinyl and CD and I have got the CD version. Uh, going back to Gomez, this is Gomez Out West. This is them live at the Fillmore on two CDs and then a DVD that's not the full show on the DVD. Uh, strange little dual case this. It's sort of halfway between a normal one and a bumper one. But yeah, excellent live album by Gomez. Okay, uh, moving on we have Live Killers by Queen. Their yeah, first live album. Fair bit of overdubbing on it I believe. But a lot of fun. Needs a vinyl re-release. Okay, I have the uh, right over there and below I think yeah there's a red one which you might just yeah you can just see there that's for three 40th anniversary box sets that's got all their Al Queen's albums um, re-released with remastered and with a bonus disc on each one and I've also got let's do it that way studio collection coloured vinyl box set uh, so I'll whiz through these. Sheer Heart Attack. Night at the Opera. The first Queen's debut album and Queen 2 I've already shown because they were on the rack above. Uh, Date of the Races. News of the World. Jazz. I won't, I'm not saying much about these because I am going to do a Queen album ranking. I have them ranked, I have them written down. I'm uh, just waiting to do the video. It should be relatively soon now, I believe. Uh, greatest Hits. Hot Space. The Works. Kind of Magic. Live Magic, which I know gets a lot of flack, but I've always enjoyed it, but it was, I think it was the second Queen album I owned after A Kind of Magic, so it has a soft spot in my heart. Again, these are vinyl reissue. This is the first version of Queen at the Beeb. It's sort of been superseded by the Queen on Air box set, which is somewhere in my collection. I have already shown it, but these are various live ever BBC recordings. Uh, the Miracle. Innuendo. Rotus hits two. Posthumous Made in Heaven with the special jewel case with the Queen logo down the spine. And Queen Rocks with Queen Rocks down the spine. Uh, so this is a compilation of their uh, heavier stuff. And this has got No One But You, Only The Good Die Young, which was a new song recorded by the three surviving band members. Uh, Greatest Hits Free by Queen Plus. This is okay. Um, it sort of mops up a few of the tracks that weren't on the first two Greatest Hits, which should have been. But it's also got a new remix of Under Pressure. It's got Show Must Go On, Somebody To Love from the tribute concert and then it's got Barcelona you know Freddie and Montserrat on here 
for some reason. It shouldn't really be on here. You know, it's, it's not a Queen song. Um, but yeah, overall, so it's good. Then we have Queen on Fire live at the Bowl. So this is live album of them at the Milton Keynes Bowl, 1982. On the uh, Hot Space Tour. Good solid live album. Uh, this is Queen and Paul Rogers of Cosmos Rocks. I've listened to this once. Didn't do much for me. And then this is live at Wembley, 86. So this is a better live album of the Kind of Magic Tour. Because it's a complete show. Okay. Yeah, sod it, we'll... This, this part is probably going to be a bit longer than usual. Or is it? Yeah. Okay, we have Michael Jackson, Escape. So this was the... When did this come out? 2014 posthumous Michael Jackson album. So the previous posthumous one, Michael, was shit. And it turned out a lot of the vocals weren't even by Michael Jackson on it. It was sound-alikes. Uh, this was better... This were basically took original demos that Michael had recorded and then funked them up a bit, made them presentable. And then also, you know, this includes the original versions as well on, on this release. I'm not sure if they were on all of them. And it's also got a DVD on it. Uh, with a little documentary about the making of the album, I think. But yeah, I mean, it's not as good as a proper Michael Jackson album. But it was okay. Uh, this is Damon Albarn's Everyday Robots. This is his only to date so far proper solo album. This is... is this a special version? Yeah, this has got a DVD with four live songs on it and a track-by-track -track interview. But yeah, very good album. Snow Patrol's Final Straw. Saw Snow Patrol at the Isle of Wight Festival when I went over for the day to see David Bowie there back in whatever year that was. Uh, oh wait, no, must be similar. It was 2004, 2004 ish, probably. Then, uh, had no idea who they were, didn't know any of their songs, but the whole audience seemed to know Run, certainly at that time. Um, obviously, over the years, I've learned to know it. I like Snow Patrol, I have this, I have their last album that I got a signed version of. Uh, they've done some really good stuff. This is Magic Fly by Space. So this isn't Space as in Britpop Space, who I've shown previously on my channel, but I thought it was. When, after their second album, after um, Tim Planet, they recorded a third album. I love you more than football, it turns out. Um, they released a single, Diary of a Wimp, which I saw them perform on T TFI Friday, and so I was on a lookout for a new Space album. And a few months later, I was doing a search on Amazon to see what had happened with this Space album. Saw Space Magic Fly. I thought, oh, there it is. So I ordered it. This is Space from 1977. They are French, I think, electronic band. Uh, Magic Fly was a big hit and is a great track. The rest of the album's okay actually. It's but it's just not space what I was expecting. This is space I was expecting. So I have shown fairly recently, end of December I think, the recent box set with all but their latest album in. Um this is their debut album Spiders. It's got female of a species, mean you versus the world, dark clouds. I then released Invasion of the Spiders, which is sort of a remix and unreleased tracks album. Remixes aren't great, to be honest. Then Tim Planet, which is a great album. It's got Avenging Angels, Ballad of Tom Jones with Kevis Matthews. Uh, Begin Again was a single. Be There was a single. Bad Days was a single. But yeah, really strong album. Uh, so then, eventually, A Greatest Hits was released which has got a couple of tracks on here 
He's got Diary of a Wimp. And he's got the shit you talk is beautiful. And Gravity, which I think were meant to be... Oh, they were just two new tracks at the time. I can't, I'm not entirely sure where they ended up, if they ended up anywhere else. Um, but yeah, so I picked that up for to get those sort of tracks. Then eventually they reformed and they released Suburban Rock and Roll, which is also in the box set I previously mentioned. Their reformed stuff isn't as good as their earlier stuff, in my opinion. Um, then their subsequent album, I've got signed copies of, so I've already shown those. This is Nevermind by Nirvana, just a classic album. I'm not the hugest of Nirvana fans, but I like them. Um, I love the Unplugged album, which I can't remember if I've already shown, but it's in my collection somewhere. Big fan of Spice Girls, went to see them live last year, it was amazing. Uh, this is Spice, their debut album. And this is Spice World, their second album, both just wonderful wonderful pop albums this is big squeeze the very best of squeeze this is a limited edition double cd with a cd of b-sides on it as well uh, which has got a few good bits on it on there um but and yeah nice greatest hits compilation love squeeze again if you're familiar with my videos you'll know i've been collecting their stuff on vinyl now uh stereophonics i've mentioned before i like stereophonics again i'm not a huge fan but i have all their albums I was put off a bit. I saw them twice in their relatively early days, uh, both from they were on the same bill when Robbie headlined Slane Castle that I went to, and they were on the Net Aid concert that I went to. And whilst their songs are great, their stage presence was terrible, so that's always put me off them a bit. Um, this is their debut album, Word Gets Around. It's a very strong album. Uh, performance of Cocktails, their second album, possibly their best. If it's not that, it's just enough education to perform. That's a close runner for being best album. Uh, you've got to go there to come back. Maybe tomorrow is on here, which is a great a great song. Uh, sex, language, sex, violence, other. So this has got the number one hit Dakota on it. And then we're nearly there. We've got some Stevie. We've got Talking Book. Big fan of Stevie Wonder. Gradually getting all this stuff on vinyl. Uh, Inner Visions that was. And I'll, whilst we're on, I'll skip to one of the greatest albums ever made. Songs in the Key of Life. Masterpiece. Uh, then we have the very best of Sting and the Police. I've subsequently got all the police's albums, I picked them all up on vinyl and then quite recently Amazon made me an offer I couldn't refuse on the CD box set of all their albums so I have picked that up. Um, but yeah this has also got Sting solo tracks on here. I quite like a lot of Sting solo stuff, I might even pick up some of his albums. Uh, Stone Roses, yeah, debut, self-titled debut. I need to listen to this again, it didn't wow me when I listened to it. Um, I don't know if it was a production didn't help. It, was, it all seemed very quiet and muddied, which always puts me off on an album. Um, but I did sort of, at the end of it, think, well, what's all the fuss about? And I know there's some big fans of this album. I know Rob Walker, you're a big fan of this album. Um, yeah, so I need to listen to that again. And Original Private Material by The Streets. I've already shown a grand don't come for free, I think. Uh, this was the previous album. I think this might have been his first. I preferred Grand Don't Come For Free, but this was very good as well. Okay, so that's it for part 21. So that's another shelf done. Went through those quite quickly because there's whole stacks of artists where I could just whiz through the albums. Uh, so we've got the bottom one to get to, which is going to be a nightmare to get that. I might attack that now, let's see. Anyway, you don't need to know all that stuff. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.